Doug Outdoors here. We're at the Big Athens Fort Trailhead, about to start on this three-day journey, and it is raining. It is just barely above freezing, and uh, probably won't be doing much filming today. I'm just trying to get in a couple of minutes here before we uh, hit the trailhead good, so uh, stay tuned, and we'll see uh, how this journey goes. Um, day one, just rain all day. First thing we did was a uh, water crossing at Athens Big Fort. The, uh, uh, my toes are already so numb, I can't feel them. Actually, they hurt, uh, so I guess I can feel them. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's how we start this trip. So uh, the rain's still continuing to pour and it's just barely above freezing. So, wow, misery, type two fun they say. Hey, this is uh, just day one and it's only the first hour. And this has been a tough one already. Our party is uh, making it way steadily but surely. <laughs> Are you having fun? Are you having fun? <laughs> so where did things go wrong? Let me get some things out of the way. First of all, the my friends and I on this trip were uh, experienced outdoorsmen, backpackers, uh, campers with decades of uh, experiences and knowledge and skills and some prep work went into this. Uh, we had weeks of uh, planning, looking at weather reports and trying to uh, assess our situation. Uh, we um, one of our uh, one of our crew had. Ex gone on this Eagle Rock Loop uh, twice before. Uh, we we're all f three of us familiar with the area. Also at no point were we in significant danger and we had no emergency situations. Uh, we uh, took the three-day planned uh, loop and um, turned it into a one-night uh, four, three to four miles in, three to four miles back out. Um, so it was still a successful um, backpacking trip. It was not a disaster. We knew that the forecast for December 31st, the first day of the hike, was rain uh, all day. We had uh, purchased new rain gear. Uh, I had a poncho, my other friends had uh, rain suits, and uh, we had pack liners. We had covers over our packs. Uh, we were fairly prepared for um, all day rain. The, the problem was, uh, first, some of our rain gear failed. For example, I had a pair of waterproof gloves that um, after about two hours were completely soaked through. One of our party rain suit seems to have um, also failed and it started getting his, in his, uh, layers underneath wet uh, we had around 34 degree temperatures uh, this most significant problem was it wasn't just a little bit of rain here and there it was a continual rain for what ultimately was about 22 solid hours uh, now let me explain to you what happened though um, on the trail that led us to eventually making the decision to tap out early we had several water crossings and in fact, we had more water crossings than what we were predicting because of the rain. There were several places on the trail that normally were dry that we actually had to wade through. And so our feet kept getting continually uh, soaked with uh, almost icy water. We also, um, again, had that rainfall on us constantly for uh, two to three hours of the hike. And we were only about halfway finished with day one before we were to make our first uh, camp for the night, but one of our members uh, was beginning to experience uh, early onset of hypothermia. Not severe yet, but we can definitely recognize it. Again, I think that's where some of the uh, knowledge and experience of this group uh, came into play. We took what could have been potentially an emergency situation and, and avoided that. Uh, now, looking at the list of things you need to go through with uh, survival is, of course, first make sure you're dry and warm. And so we made the decision to camp early 
go ahead and get in our get our shelters up and get dry and warm as soon as possible uh, before we had any severe problems. That plan worked fine. We uh, had no problems um, ultimately getting dry and warm and, and staying that way as long as we stayed in our shelters. Now this was a, um, this certainly hurt our trip as it made it to where we uh, on day one didn't get very much done. We didn't get very far. We really needed to have put in several more miles on that day. Um, and then ultimately we needed to um, have a good fresh start the next day. It did not stop raining until about eight o'clock the next morning. We're talking about buckets of rain, uh, almost nonstop. Everything around us was soaked. Almost anything that was outside of our shelters uh, that we even put out underneath our tarps to dry were worse the next morning than when we uh, had, uh, than when we turned in. Uh, we turned in probably around four o'clock uh, the evening. So we had almost 16 hours hunkered down in our shelters. That kind of really set us back as far as uh, our mental attitudes as well. Ultimately, we made the right call. I think we uh, could we have kept pushing, sure, uh, but it might have put us in a worse situation. We were uh, several hours away from our vehicle, and to continue to hike further would then put us a day away. And so, if we really did get into an emergency situation, uh, we would uh, be in much worse shape than uh, what we were and so it made sense to go ahead and uh, call it early now an interesting story to add to this a little insult to injury as we uh, came back to the vehicle uh, the um, the truck was on the ground with a flat tire and so um, after making a water crossing and um, that was all the way up to uh, our almost our waist we had a uh, little feeling left in our hands from being quite numb. We actually had to change a tire and it took quite a while to do that, as you can imagine with uh, the conditions we were in. Uh, we did eventually, however, get to uh, leave with no problems. We made it to uh, Mena, Arkansas and went to a, a good restaurant, good service, great food, and uh, wound up enjoying our uh, the end of the trip especially. Uh, and right now we have, of course, some good stories and. Uh, some of which I'm sharing with you now that we can look back on on this experience. Nothing wrong with changing, altering your plans depending on your situation. It's always good to have um, plans ahead of time, of course, but recognize that sometimes you might need to alter those plans in order to uh, have a fun and safe hike. So until next time, like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Doug Outdoors signing off.